Hey there, people. So, um, here comes the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, get you some guitar. We feature stuff, guitar lessons, um, gear reviews, odds and ends, who knows what. Anyway, so today I'm going to, actually this is too fast. Today I'm going to um, show you something. Um, I've been working with this book for uh, a while now. Actually, I've owned it for probably between 15 and 20 years. But of course, you know, like everything, um, I haven't really given it the, um, the time that it deserves. Um, it is a really great book with lots and lots of ideas and stuff in it, uh, musical ideas. Um, and of course, I'm speaking of Jazz Guitar Technique by Andrew Green. So, um, uh, and I studied with Andy, <clears throat> actually, in the late 90s. So, um, so some of the stuff in this book were, were, was also things that he taught me uh, within um, the context of our lessons. And a lot of them uh, impacted me over the years. And actually, this idea impacted me. The one that I'm going to cover today impacted me a great deal. So um, I was inspired, actually. Um, I made a video. The last video I made for this channel uh, was about... Um, I sort of condensed a bunch of etudes from this book, from the first chapter of this book, into one long etude. And I wrote something in... Um, over here in i uh, in iRail Pro, I wrote a um, backing track to go with it, um, but I skipped over the first etude of the first chapter. So the first chapter is basics, uh, learning the neck or learning the fretboard, something like that. And the very first etude <clears throat> is um, one musical phrase, one short phrase. Uh, it's the it's the um, cliche. Uh, one, two, three, five um, of a major chord or major scale. Uh, the It's the John Coltrane giant steps phrase. I don't know what to call it, but uh, it's a very, um, it's a, a phrase, a musical phrase, a short musical phrase associated with giant steps originally, or at least associated with giant steps to a great deal uh, nowadays because John Coltrane used it extensively uh, in his improvisations or on giant steps. So the first etude in this book is playing this musical phrase in a bunch of different positions. Uh, so etc. And it goes all the way up the neck, right? So this is something that um, I learned it and I didn't think I actually didn't think it really had all that much value. Um, I guess, I don't know. You know, it has a lot, the concept has a lot of value, but their specific etude, I'm not sure if that specific etude had value. So, um, so I thought to myself, how can I improve upon this etude? Um, and, so, um, and so I think I have. Uh, backing up just a little bit, because I'm about to put this book down. This book uh, is a wonderful book, and like I said, I've, I've um, had it for a long time, and I'm studying from it uh, extensively now. So if you want to buy the book and study along with me, that's great, uh, or, or not. Um, but if you want to buy the book uh, and support Andy, but you can, and also support this channel at the same time, you can do so through the affiliate link in the description. So we, I get a small uh, commission. Uh, if you buy the book through the affiliate link. So that's that. That's the that's the first advertisement for the day. Now I'm getting rid of the book. So like I said before, the um, the etude that Andy wrote was interesting. And actually that whole, the concept of being able to play the same thing in, in a lot of different positions is something that guitar players have to deal with. Um, I thought uh, to myself, how can I improve upon this and modify this etude so that um, so that uh, it is perhaps a little more musical. I don't know, 
uh, but also um, covers a musical situation, not just repeating the same phrase over and over again, um, and plus playing it, how can I improve um, or expand upon the idea of playing it with in all the different positions and shapes, um, expand upon it by also playing it through all 12 keys. So since it was since it's a phrase that's associated now with giant steps or the giant steps progression i decided to write my own version of giant steps which i call all steps this is there's two versions of it this is version one all it's called all steps because it goes through all 12 keys but it also goes uh it also transposes each time by a different interval. So giant steps is presumably called giant steps because the, the, um, because the song consistently um, uh, moves through keys by a major third, which I guess you know he thought was a giant step. Or maybe he just thought it was a giant step forward to, to have a transposition like this. But anyway, I took, I'm interpreting it like that. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I so I, I took it as uh, the step is referring to the step um, the steps of, of transposition within the song, so I called it all steps because this from one major chord to the next, this particular song that I've composed uh, goes through all twelve keys, and um, transposes by a different interval each time. And so the etude that I've composed also does what I said before. It covers um, every different fingering that you can play this particular phrase. So the way the etude is constructed is I play that phrase, that little melodic fragment, on every major seventh chord. Okay? And when it's a little bit, when it's a longer period of time, I just play it up and then play it down. Okay? So I'm gonna play this for a few minutes. I'll play it a few times through. And if you like this etude, uh, if you like Andy's book, you can buy it f from him or you can buy it from the chap um, from the, um, the, the link in the description. If you like my etude, you can visit my guitar lesson website, which is called Getcha Some Guitar, uh, getchasomeguitar.com, and I will have a lesson there with this etude, and I will price it um, very reasonably. So, um, and it'll go into a little bit more, uh, it'll, a little more in depth into um, the structure of the song, and I'll inc probably include the other, the other version of the tune as well. But without further, without further ado, I'm just going to play it at a nice medium tempo.
That's it. That's the entire etude. Plays uh, that fragment, that little melodic fragment, through all 12 keys in every different um, possible fingering. And, um, and uh, you transpose by a different amount each time. Uh, I will, for now, as of the recording of this particular video, uh, the etude is um, only going to include, well, the lesson is only going to include this etude, but I, per, I intend to expand upon this and have, um, you know, the opposite, uh, instead of going up, going down, and then a bunch of other melodic ideas uh, will be available on that same, that very same lesson. Anyway, uh, get you some guitar.com. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and all that junk, and uh, see you next time.